human billboards on the street corner in Liberia's capital, Monrovia. Body painting kicked off in the early 90s with football maskers covering themselves in the colors of the national flag. The trend inspired entrepreneurs who spotted a niche in the market. It is something that I started seeing. This is something that I started in December 2013. It's an idea that just came all of a sudden, and to my utmost surprise, it's come this far. Emmanuel's advertising firm employs 35 people, most working as human statues. His company charges $50 for a five-hour shift, with clients ranging from government agencies to brides to be. It's sweltering work, but provides an income to Liberia's unemployed youth. If there's nothing happening, you can start stealing and doing all kinds of things. So you just have to start doing something. So we started this thing, started struggling from 2015, and here we are this time with a good result. Now, even political parties are using body art to attract voters. The trend has changed the face of advertising here and is also tapping into social media. Just imagine a football game at a stadium, the number of people that are there. Once you have two or three of those guys there, people come and see them and take pictures with them and put them on social media. Liberia has a long history of using body paint for religious and community rituals. And having adapted to the modern world, the phenomenon shows no sign of fading.